Hi there friends, my name is Gillian Perkins and welcome to my channel. Now, I don't know about you, but personally I am a pretty curious person. I'm always kind of wondering about other people's businesses and I'm a little nosy about it. I wanna know exactly how they run their business, how they create the success that they have, how things all work. Now, if you are like that, then you probably wonder things like that about my business. How do I get the things done that I get done? How do I make the money that I make? And a big part of that is my team because as you probably know, I'm not a solopreneur. I don't do this all on my own by a long shot. I have a lot of help. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you've probably heard me mention a few of the people who work for me, like Courtney, my ops manager, or Tiffany, who works in customer service. But never before have I shared the whole roster with you, shared with you everyone who's on our team and what their roles are and what they do. And I thought that that would be really interesting for those of you who are currently working on building a business to see what it looks like to have, a, in my case, a small streamlined team that gets a whole lot done and just what those different roles are. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, introducing you to each person who works on my team. I run Startup Society with five core teams. These are groups of people who work together on different types of projects. But actually there are just nine people total on Team GP and that includes me. So me and eight other individuals and we are broken out into these five core teams. Teams. Now, not only does that obviously mean the teams are small, each one has only between about one and four people on it, but there's also a lot of crossover. Most of us don't just work on one of these teams, most of us work in two of them. Okay, so first up, I'll introduce to you Courtney Loveridge. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm Gillian's operations manager. You might also hear me use the term online business manager or OBM for short. When I am working with Gillian, I'm primarily managing her projects and her team members so that she can really focus on serving her customers well and also growing her business. And when I'm not working with Gillian, you can find me taking on project-based work with clients in the six to seven figure ranges, helping them systematize their business so that they can also focus on scaling and growing. So Courtney is an online business manager or OBM who works in my business as my ops manager, my operations manager. She's kind of the all seeing eye who makes everything coordinate and work together. Sometimes this role is called an integrator and she is what keeps us all on the same page, all checking our tasks off and getting things done. I had tried to hire several other people before hiring Courtney, mostly a few different virtual assistants, but none of them really gave me the help I needed. It definitely wasn't their fault. It was me. I didn't really know what I needed. At that point in my business, I was actually pretty good at getting the things done. And I had enough time to get the things done that needed to get done. But I was really messy about it. It was getting very disorganized. And so that really prevented me from being very strategic or from growing consistently. I would go all in on some project and I would let the day-to-day -day part of running the business kind of slide. So Courtney makes sure that the business keeps running smoothly even when I am doing my visionary thing and chasing some dream. Next, I'll introduce you to Gabe Cox. Hey everyone, I am Gabe Cox and I am a success coach inside Gillian's programs. As I was finishing up my first book, I learned that I should create a business around it. And that's when I was introduced to Gillian and got my business going through Startup Society. I love the work I get to do with students as a success coach on Gillian's team. And when I'm not working with Gillian, I am an author, podcaster and coach who helps women turn their passions and purpose into impact and income all for the glory of God. Through starting their own virtual coaching business and going after their God-given goals. So Gabe currently works mostly on our customer service team, but she also puts in a few hours with our content production team. I hired Gabe straight out of Startup Society when I saw what a gift she had with coaching the other members and giving them just excellent support answering their questions so well. And I thought that is exactly the type of person who we want working for us as a coach and helping out our customers. And Gabe has been fantastic. She does customer support in the email inboxes. She does one-on-one -on -one coaching for our students. And what she does on the content production team is she interviews our students about their success, about what they've achieved and how they achieved it. And then we take those interviews that Gabe does and we turn them into case studies and testimonials and 
other assets that we can use in our marketing to share with prospects to show them what's possible with our programs and how well the programs work. Also, just a couple personal tidbits about Gabe. She's a homeschooling mom of three boys, two of whom I believe are elite gymnasts, and she also runs her own coaching business, and she works about 25 hours per week for me. So she is one busy mama, very productive, and I love working with her. The next team member I'll introduce to you is Tiffany Pichardo. Hi, I'm Tiffany Pichardo. My main roles on the team are email coaching, general inquiries, and other customer service type emails, as well as as YouTube channel audits for our Creator Fast Track members. When I'm not working for Gillian, I homeschool my children and share about it in our homeschool YouTube channel called The Happy Homeschooler. Tiffany, like Gabe, is also a homeschooling mom. She's got four kids, so she's homeschooling them while she works about 20 hours per week for me, and she's also working on building her own YouTube channel, so check out her channel if you want to meet Tiffany. Tiffany handles a lot of our inboxes and other communication channels like texting and DMs, and she also does a lot of our member management, including hosting a lot of our weekly live events for members, like our mastermind meetings and weekly co-working sessions. Someone who is kind of new to our team is Natalie Burns. Hi, my name is Natalie Burns, and I am the most most recent member of the customer service team, providing primarily coaching support to Startup Society members. I also collaborate with Gillian on her blog posts. A couple of years ago, I was fully immersed in all of Gillian's major courses. And it was when I did a case study interview that she saw the course content knowledge that I had and understanding for application that she asked me to join the team. I love how Gillian encourages us to have our own business ventures and how that allows us to speak to students in a way that really understands the application of her action-oriented content. When she's not working for me, Natalie is a mentor to homeschool moms because because Natalie is also a homeschool mom. Are you seeing a theme here? Natalie has three kids, I believe, and she runs her homeschool mentorship business and then works for me right now just about five to 10 hours a week. Like I said, she's kind of new, but we definitely see her position growing in the future. Right now, she's doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with our students, and she also is working on the content production team where, like I mentioned with Gabe, she interviews our students about their successes so we can create marketing materials. Next up is Samantha Harris. Hi, my name is Samantha Harris and on the Gillian Perkins team, I'm a little bit of a jack of all trades. My main roles are coaching for our programs, specifically 100K Mastermind. I'm also in charge of enrollment for 100K Mastermind. I do customer service and marketing related tasks for the company as well. I met Gillian back in 2020. She actually found me through a YouTube video interview that I did with one of my past clients who was a mutual of ours and the rest is history. I've been on the team ever since. When I'm not working with Gillian, I'm running my own business where I do organic marketing and sales consulting for online businesses. Samantha is our sales superstar. She's that one person I mentioned who runs the sales team all on her own. She is the sales team. She handles all of our prospects and closes something like 60% of them. Honestly, when I hired Samantha, I didn't hire her for this role. I was originally hiring her for our marketing team and it just didn't quite seem like the right Fit. So we ended up bouncing her around to several different roles, trying to find that sweet spot, kind of her zone of genius. And we finally did. We finally really struck gold when we got her on some sales calls and we were like, wow, you are doing great at this. So now Samantha handles all of that all on her own. Also, unlike several of those other people I mentioned, Samantha is not a homeschooling mom. Samantha is single and she lives with her family in Texas, but she is also a frequent traveler and she really likes working from, maybe not the the road exactly, but working remotely from a variety of locations. Team member number six is Summer Anderson. Hi, my name is Summer and honestly, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera. I'm usually on the other side, behind the scenes, doing the editing for Gillian's YouTube channel. I have worked for Gillian for over two years now. And when I started, I was her personal assistant and Gillian is actually the one who taught me how to video edit. So I worked my way up and now I am her primary video editor. I also recently stepped into the role of managing her podcast. I am so thankful for the opportunity to work for Gillian. And when I'm not working for her, I am a freelancer. So I do have a few other clients that I edit for on the side. 
Summer is kind of my local support go-to gal. I hired her here in the city where I live so that I could have someone on the ground who could come and actually help me with filming YouTube videos or taking photos as needed, as well as doing things like office management and running errands for me. And Summer has done a great job of all of those things, but she's also really gone above and beyond. She ended up learning how to edit YouTube videos and edit podcasts and do content management and manage the YouTube channel and the podcast and all sorts of things like that. So at this point, Summer primarily works on our content production team where she edits the YouTube videos and manages our content. Okay, and now we come to the one woman show that is our tech team, and that is Jenna Moser. Hi, my name is Jenna Moser. I'm Gillian's tech VA, and my primary responsibilities include updating content on the website, like when we're building out a new course, or connecting things on the back end related to sales funnels, web maintenance, troubleshooting, etc. I was actually introduced to Gillian last year when I was recommended by a mentor for an opportunity where Gillian was looking for someone tech savvy with WordPress and Squarespace. Web development is one of my passions, so I I was super excited to be considered for the opportunity and to be a part of this great team Gillian has built. When I'm not working for Gillian, I'm running my own business as a tech VA and certified dashboard designer who helps online business owners understand their numbers to grow and scale their business. So I hired Jenna a little over a year ago after a long, long search for a tech VA or tech virtual assistant. Jenna has filled that role really well. It's really nice to not have to go run those rabbit trails to solve our tech problems. Instead, we just send it all to Jenna, who's a tech whiz, of course, and figures out how to solve all those issues for us. Jenna and her family live in Indiana, I believe, and she recently welcomed her second daughter into their family. Now, team member number eight is currently our only international team member. Her name is Emily Banks and she hails from Australia. Hi, I'm Emily Banks and I am Gillian's graphic designer. I work on her YouTube thumbnails, promotional graphics, uh, some branding and materials for her online courses and membership programs. Occasionally we work on web design projects and some other bits and pieces, whatever comes up really. A past client of mine referred Gillian to me a few years ago and from memory we jumped on a call, we talked about her needs, uh, we went through a bit of a trial period and we've been working together ever since. I'm an independent contractor, so when I'm not working for Gillian, I have a few other clients that I work for in a similar capacity, and I also take on a select number of branding clients a year. Thanks, Gillian, for having me on the video. We keep Emily on retainer because our graphic design needs tend to fluctuate wildly, one month to the next, one week to the next even. Some weeks, Emily only puts in about an hour for me, designing just a couple YouTube thumbnails, whereas other weeks, she puts in 10 plus hours designing all of the workbooks and assets for an online course we're creating or something like that. Really helpful to just have a designer I can go to whenever I need to have anything designed. Okay, and then finally, person number nine on the team is me. Now you probably already know a fair amount about me, but as far as how I fit onto the team, I primarily work on the content production team. I put about 10 to 15, sometimes a little bit more hours in every week creating content for YouTube, for the podcast, for the blog, as well as all the content that we use in our paid products. So that is what I do with the majority of my time. But every week I also put in a few very important hours with our management team where I set our goals and make those strategic decisions, both about what we are going to do and how we are going to tackle it. So I'm assuming that you can see now what I meant when I talked about each of us working on a couple different teams. We each wear a couple different hats. And like I said, we really like that because we love the variety in the work and it helps make the business more stable. But I also just want to point out that this could be chaos. Like if we were all just doing random different tasks because we liked variety and because we wanted to know each other's jobs really well, like that wouldn't create stability. That would just be disorganized. It would be messy. Things would probably fall through the cracks. So that is why we typically limit each person to only working on two different teams to keep things organized and to keep things structured. That enables us to really learn those roles really well, become great at what we do, and so that it's easier for Courtney to do the management side of things and know who's doing what. Also, one more thing I wanted to mention before I wrap this video up, and that is just, if you are building a business, it is really important to do so with the end in mind. You know, I've got this 
small streamlined team that runs my company. But that's not what everyone wants. Some people don't want to manage people at all. They just want to be a solopreneur or maybe have an assistant to help them out with some things, but that is their ideal. They want to be super flexible and super agile and not have any of that management because there is a certain amount of weight that comes along with it. Although of course it also enables you to do so much more. On the other hand, some people want to build really big teams of hundreds or thousands of people and grow a really big company. And that is what is exciting to them. But I just want to also point out that having a bigger team doesn't necessarily mean that your business will be more successful. Having a bigger team might enable you to make more money, but what it definitely will do is it will cost you more money. A bigger team always increases your expenses, sometimes increases your revenue, but it can be tough to outpace the cost of a large team. I know several different people who built their team bigger and bigger and bigger, and then something went a little sideways and their business didn't make nearly as much money for a few months, and it almost did them under. So as you're building your business, I just encourage you to be really intentional about it and to have the end in mind, to know what you're trying to build and not fall into the trap of thinking that that bigger is better. Because sometimes bigger is better, but just as often, it's not. Now, if right now you are feeling like you really do need some help in your business, then check out this video right here where I teach you the smart way to grow your team.